Head elders, apostles, and bishops of the Great Millstone, Shalom to you, Akim, throughout the world. I put another quick impromptu, short impromptu, or willing you edified on two scriptures that are uh, just going through and studying on this Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom as well. All right, uh, I'm saying Proverbs chapter 12, verse 3 says, a man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. Okay, so we we analyze and we uh, understand the world that we're living in right now is ruled by the wicked, and it has been established by the wicked. But the Lord said, "A man shall not be established by wickedness." That's why you see. Well, that's why we can see following the prophecies in the world, you know, geopolitically, you know, on alternative news sites. All right. The state. All right. Of the uh, world. As we speak and the state of the world is in decline. All right. The moral. All right. The, uh, the moral decay of the of, of this world is completely upside down. Okay, you have evil being called good and good being called evil. You have uh, various and, and uh, many of things happening in not in the favor of the people. All right, from government to personal lives, because everything has been messed up. All right, and that's the intent of the wicked. The intent of the wicked is to destroy, not to tend to life, not to do the righteous thing, not to do anything that is uh, conducive to life, but to destroy. And it's mainly aimed at those that are chosen of the Lord. All right. So this is why everything in America and abroad is going awry. Because this world is established by wickedness. All right, what is wickedness? The breaking of the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, you know, which is found in the Bible. There's over 613 of them, all right? And they're not, as a matter of fact, they are encouraging, uh, they are encouraged, the laws of the Most High God are encouraged to be broken, all right? Pursuant to Habakkuk, all right? That, that's why righteous judgment doth never go forth. All right, because the law is slack. So a man shall not be established by wickedness. This is why America, according to the Bible, is the biblical Babylon the Great that is going to be destroyed. Right? The Lord said in Amos, the ninth chapter, his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. And he will destroy it from off the face of the earth. But the root of the righteous shall not be moved. And the root of the righteous is the Savior, Messiah, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, Tadadah. And he's the one that's coming back to set everything right side up. All right? Put righteousness on this earth forever. All right? And the wicked is going to be put in captivity. All right? For a thousand years and then destroyed. Because there's not going to be any use. All right, for the wicked anymore. They have ran their course. Let's get Sirach. Right? Chapter 19, verse 20 on down to 22. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency. If a servant say to his master, I do not, I will not do as it pleaseth thee. Though afterward he do it, he angereth him that nourisheth him. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time. The counsel of sinners, prudence. Okay? So this is why and how a man shall not be established by wickedness, because the, uh, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. There's no wisdom in going against the Heavenly Father in his order. Because it's only going to lead to destruction. That's where this world is headed. Shalom.